hello everyone, this is the Sports Show Podcast, and today we're joined with James Power. How are you, mate? Hi, mate. I'm all good, thanks. How are you? Brilliant. I'm all right. So, we'll just get straight into it, mate. So, how did you get started the fighting uh, whenever you were younger? Uh, so, I didn't start till late. I didn't start till I was about 18. Um, and I lo- originally got into it just because I was a chubby kid, mate, growing up and that, and I just wanted to lose some weight. And I used to watch K1. I was just a fan of the sport and then just started trying it out myself. Yep. And then, <clears throat> did you ever fight doing any other sports, such as judo or anything? Uh, no, so just uh, K1 style kickboxing I did. Um, that's the only other sport I've competed in um, as an amateur and a professional. Yep. And you're currently 4-0 uh, as a professional after winning uh, on Saturday night there in Cage Warriors, winning by TKO. Do you feel, uh, or sorry, how does that feel to be 4-0 at the minute? Oh, yeah, mate, it's like, it's overwhelming, mate. I'm so happy with uh, how everything's gone so far. Um, And I'm really happy to finally get, like, a bit more of a high-caliber opponent Um, and just to get that on my record as well because previously some of the guys have fought have not really been up my standard, so it would be nice to get onto Cage Warriors and fight some prop, you know, some some good game lads, you know. Yeah, and now that you're fighting on Cage Warriors, you beat the slight favourite in Adam Shelley, good opponent, so he is, uh, beat him by TKO. Do you feel he could have performed better or do you think you were just too good for him on the night? Oh, no, definitely. I had a game plan. Um, he likes to fight on the outside. I was going to pressure, 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 stay, stay in his face the whole time. And I knew, we, like, I'm used to that style from from when I used to fight K1. Um, cause usually, I prefer to stay on the outside, but I can pressure I can pressure anybody. So I knew he'd crumble in the end. Um, and he, I actually thought he did really well um, in evading me. So... Because I was I was hoping for a first round stoppage um, as opposed to the second. Yep, and obviously it was a it was a very good fight. Did you have obviously you had a good game plan then, or sorry, not a good game plan, a uh, good training camp? Yeah, mate, uh, camp's been amazing. So I've not really stopped since uh, December. Um, I come back from a bad knee injury in December. Um, going over to Manchester, train at ASW, and then we've just been non-stop. Uh, I was supposed to have a fight in February, which fell through, so I trained really hard for that, and then just moved on to my next one in April. Then after April, I got the call from Cage Warriors asking me to get on this card. So it's just been back to back, mate. It's just been a slog yeah. all year, but honestly, I've had the best preparation um, possible, mate. It's been unreal. Yeah, and obviously on Saturday night, it was a brilliant card. Cage, Cage Warriors 140. Did you stay to watch the rest of the fights? I did, mate. I stayed, I stayed to watch a couple um, and then we went out to get on the town in Belfast, um, have a few beers and that with the lads. But we watched the rest of the fights on the phone, like on Fight Pass as well, mate. There were some fucking incredible fights. Um, really good. The, ma- the main event especially, mate, it, were, it blew me away. It was such a good performance from both of the lads, uh, Justin and Reese. It were, it were incredible. It was such a good end to the, to the show. Yeah, and then obviously two, um, two incredible fighters. Do you think Reese McKee has the capability of fighting the UFC right now? Yeah, definitely, mate. I think both of those lads, like you could you could put either of those lads in the UFC and they'd be straight up there, you know, fighting the top caliber opponents and stuff. Like they're both so talented. Um and they both really deserve it. Um and I hope I hope that they both end up being there soon. Yeah. And what do you want next? Your next fight, what do you want? And do you have an opponent to call it? <laughs> uh no opponent to call out as such, but I'll fight anybody who's above me in the rankings. Like, I don't know who else is on the roster at lightweight. Um, but, mate, I'm 30 years old. Um, I've got a good good wealth of experience behind me from my, my other fights. I've had in other disciplines uh, beyond my 4-0 record. So, mate, I'm happy to fight whoever they give me, but preferably somebody who's above me so I can start working my way up. Yeah, and just as you said, they're about starting your way, you're starting your way up. Do you want to go to the UFC? Oh, mate, yeah, 100%. Like I say, I think 30 years old, I've not had that many serious injuries. Um, I took too much damage in my career so far. So, mate, I fight till I'm like nearly 40. So, I've got I've got the years to, to put in there. So, the sooner I get, get good opponents, so I can work my way up, the better. And we, we can end up in the UFC for sure. Yeah, and then obviously, just before you were saying, uh, you had a funny source, story to tell us. Just straight back from Belfast and you the flat tower. <laughs> Yeah, mate, so I've got a bad story to tell you. So we got off the plane and we were chatting and we walked straight through. We forgot to get his baggage to start with and they won't let us back in. So we had to sit and wait for about half an hour for him to bring his bags to us. Then I get to my car. Mate, I had a flat tyre, like flat as a pancake. 
So we went to the first petrol station we could find um, and they had no tyre pressure pump there. So they told us to go to this next one. Mate, we went to the next one down the road and uh, the one there was out of service. I was like, somebody's taking the mick out of me here. <laughs> and then we had to go to like the third petrol station, mate. We'd driven so far on a flat um, to, to get some air in it. So I've just had to go change it now today, but not what I wanted to come home. So I <laughs> can laugh it off at least. Yeah, that's it, mate. So thank you very much, mate, for coming on. I really appreciate it. All right. Nice one, mate. No worries. Catch you later. All right. Wish you all the best of luck. See you later. Thank you, mate. See you.